Crypto Slow, Cryptocurrency News and Investing. Crypto Slow here with some more crypto gains. Today we are going to show you how to mine Verge quickly and, and effortlessly. Now, there's a couple things. I've tried a couple different pools. I know a lot of people are mining on Yimp. Some people said Mining Pool Hub and other people said Z Pool. Um, I am going to choose Z Pool for this demonstration. I tried Mining Pool Hub, and let me tell you, something doesn't add up on that um, site because my hash rates weren't showing up and a bunch of other weird stuff. So I'm not really sure. So, pretty easy to do this. You go to zpool.com, and we are going to be using the lira v2 lira 2 v2 algo and cc miner so here's the cool thing about zpool you don't have to put in an address into the system it's really cool literally you just configure a cc miner with your wallet and then you can look at your wallet so there's no registration necessary the only thing thing I see bad about this is that it could potentially leave a little dust um, but other than that it's really easy so I left a link to the CC miner Alexis 78 you can you also use 2.24 as long as it supports the Lyra R2 so you go ahead and open it extract all the files pretty simple and after you extract the files all you have to do is edit this one file it says CC mining verge Z pool edit okay so here's the important part let's go over it CC miner.exe that is the name of the program so it's pointing to that file the minus a is the algorithm so that is Lyra 2 v2 GPU intensity I set mine at the highest at 25. You, you can set yours anywhere from 10 to 25. Um, you can test different numbers and see what you get, or you can just max that baby out. Um, then we have the mining pool for Verge. And then under username, you're actually going to put your Verge wallet address. Now, that can be a wallet on an exchange, or that can be your cold storage wallet um, like the verge wallet which i have i have a video on getting that set up and that's it now if you're editing this file on your c drive you'll have to move it to your desktop save it and then uh, move it back because of administrative purposes so then no password and then the coin equals XVG. So we're telling it we want to get Verge. So CC Miner, Algorithm Lira 2, Intensity 25, the Z Pool um, Stratum um, URL. Put in your wallet address. Hit Save. And you can create a, a shortcut to your desktop by right clicking Send to Desktop and then you just activate the miner all right we'll give this a second there i'm getting valid hashes already 67 69 i'm running a 1080 ti right now um let's close that now this is the cool part in order to use z pull Let's go back in the software and get my wallet address. Copy that. And let's pull Z pull up. Okay. Now, here's what you do you're at www.zpool.ca. Um, and you are going to go to wallet. Click on wallet and then you're gonna put your address in. Now it remembered me because I got a balance there. So I'm not gonna put it in again, but that's what you do. So then your wallet appears down here. So then you click on the wallet, okay? And then it's gonna give you the status of your wallet and your payout. So total earned, 
total paid, total unpaid um, balance XVG, verge pending, and then it shows your hash rates down here, your total coin payout. Um, and this is pretty cool. It seems to keep a cookie of what your wallet address was in there. But I'll tell you what, this is the easiest way to get mining Verge. Now, what I noticed, I watched some videos on YouTube, and you had these people claiming 150 coins a day and some crazy coin counts. I'm running a, a overclocked 11G uh, 1080 Ti, and you're not going to get 150 coins a day. I would think it's actually more like 50 to 60 coins a day, um, which is on par with Digibyte giving you 100 out of a 1080 Ti. So, um, and then the site's got some other cool stuff, graphs, um, miners, it lists all the miners. It shows you, it's, this is a cool thing actually. So you can kind of see what version of miners people are using. Um, and what they're mining, and how many people were in that pool. Um, it's kind of cool because it lets you know what the the good miners are. Um, also shows what algorithms are doing the hottest or whatever. Um, benchmarks. Oh, and then this is another cool thing. The benchmark tab shows different cards, and it shows what people are getting for hash rates. So, like my card, running NeoScript, shows this, and shows what the hash rates. So this is kind of cool, because then you can kind of compare your card to other people's card and see, you know, am I getting what I should be getting on this? And like I said, I tried Mining Pool Hub. Your hash rates weren't transparent. It was glitchy. I let it run for two hours and I got like a half a coin. So something's up, they're skimming, system's down, I don't know what they are. At this point, with my experience, I cannot recommend Mining Pool Hub. It just wasn't a good experience for me. And I really like the way this one is set up. Um, and it kind of tries to pay you out to zero after the coins have matured, which is cool. Um, let's check on our miner, see how we're doing over here. So yeah, we're getting up 71, 71.36 mega hash. So really solid. I'll tell you what, it's really easy to get mining verge. And as we stack these positions, um, I haven't started my verge position yet. I'm still working on um, getting finishing up my digibyte position. But um, that's how you mine verge. Super easy. Um, good luck getting those coins, get those gains. Um, and if you're not talking gains, then we're not talking. Crypto slow out.